Anyway, Susan, uh, thanks for taking the time to speak with the Irish Business Network. Maybe you can help understand who is Dr. Susan Walsh. Dr. Susan Walsh. Um, okay, I was born in Dublin in 1969. Uh, don't tell anyone. Um, after school, I went to the College of Marketing and Design in Dublin, where I studied marketing. And I then progressed onto a career with Bank of Ireland. I worked first in the South, and then I got promoted to um, Belfast, to Northern Ireland. And while I was there, I took up studies, a master's degree study at the University of Ulster in Jordanstown. And at the end of that, they offered me the opportunity to do a PhD in marketing and management. And I was very lucky because um, Bank of Ireland at that point stepped up and sponsored the PhD. So they basically released me for work for four years and paid me on the basis that my, um, my research was uh, purely interpretivist and on a case study on the bank. Mm -hmm. And once I'd completed that, I then went back to Dublin. I got engaged in consultancy for a number of years and then moved to Germany in about 2002, 2003. And what took you to Germany? I mean, Ireland, back then Ireland was at the top of its boom and you were coming to Germany. Well, any of the dubs watching this, when I say the words Café on Seine, they'll know that that's a bar in, I think it's James Street in Dublin. So as happens Friday night, um, I'm in the bar and a six foot two Bavarian walks in um, and that was it. It was love at first sight. Um, he, he, we, did, we transferred between Germany and Ireland for a few years and then he moved to Ireland and then we got married and we took the decision to um, come to Munich. Okay. And how did you go from being a banking consultant to um, running a, a, a university in, in Munich? Well, I mean, my, my, I was always an academic. Um, once I engaged in the PhD, I had a real love of academia, but I also had um, a real interest in the practical application of knowledge, uh, not just the theoretical side, but how do you actually apply knowledge. So I was an entrepreneur at heart, which is a very strange combination, an academic and an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. But when I first came to Germany, I lectured in a number of um, private and public universities. And I really saw a gap in the market here for a very particular type of third level education. Um, that we then decided, team bus decided to set up Globe College in 2006, which Very is where good. I still am today in 2014. Very good. And can you maybe help me understand what is the Globe College? The Globe College, um, it's, it really is, I mean, it's a third level college. We teach business. We purely focus on business. We teach in English. Um, and our target group, it's a very, very defined niche target group that we have, which are the sons and daughters of, let's say, Mittelstand companies mm -hmm. in Germany and abroad, who are looking for a very particular type of education, which is not just the academic side, but it's also the development of the human being, that we develop their skills, their competence, um, their ability to run the companies that they go back into, their family companies. Well, that's interesting. So an Irish person teaching a German Mittelstand how to do their job better how to do their job better. Well, I don't know if we're teaching them how to do their job better, but we're certainly trying to bring the unique skills that I believe the Irish have, you know, and have in our educational system into a German context and trying to combine the Irish approach with the German approach to create something that I believe is very special. That's interesting. So uh, what's, what do you see as different from the Irish education system from the German system that helps you do that? Well, for me, um, I mean, the Irish are, were very passionate we're um, great at thinking on our feet. We're, um, we take risks, or we tend to take risks. We're, I believe we're very good at you know, thinking two or three steps ahead. I think we've got incredible people skills. The Germans are fantastic at production. Um, they're fantastic at processes. They're very logical, they're very rational. Um, they don't tend to take as many risks. And if you can combine those two things into an educational approach, you're really creating the future generation of Europe um, because they have all the skills that they need, not just to create companies here in Europe, but actually to deal with countries outside of Europe. Um, our degree is actually accredited by the Irish government, so we have an Irish degree, um, and we're obviously embedded here in Munich in a German environment. So we really do combine both types of approaches. And how do you think this approach comes across to the German middle stand that you target? Well, we're still here. The college is growing, so I take it that it's, it's coming across okay. Um, as I said, it's a very niche targeted group that we have. Um, I believe that the Mittelstand value what we do because if you look at it, these companies would have been set up after the war probably by the grandfather. 
Um, what the grandfather have faced and what the father faced is very, very different to what the sons and daughters are now facing. So it's no longer enough. They're no longer operating just in Germany. They're all over the world. They're producing all over the world. They're selling their products all over the world. And that means they need a different competence or a different skill for the next generation who'll take over those companies. Okay. And um, when you came here as an Irish person, did you speak German? Uh, no, not a word. What, not a word. And it's still not that good. So how do you succeed uh, coming to a strange culture, a strange environment, no language? I think um, the Irish have an incredible ability to succeed no matter where you put them. Um, and I think that goes down a lot to our flexibility. I think we're very flexible. I know I'm very flexible. Um, and I think that's an Irish trait. And flexibility is an incredible thing. If you're flexible and you have the ability to deal with people, all different types of people, um, you get by. And you tend to, you know, if you stay at it, you tend to be successful at some point. And that really is what I, you know, I never gave up. Um, I never um, didn't promote my Irishness. Um, and I relied on the skills that I have as an Irish person. I also integrated into Germany because I don't believe you can come to Germany and say, I, you know, I stay in the next pack group. I believe you have to integrate, you have to learn the language, you have to put the time in to get to know the Germans and how they think. And once you do that, you tend to have a winning, a winning combination. Okay, and any tips or advice you can give someone coming here in terms of uh, how to be successful? Um, you've got to get used to the Oktoberfest. Um, I mean, tips, yeah, you have to be flexible. You have to, um, you cannot come with a purely Irish approach. So you ha yes, you bring the great part of the Irish with you, but you've got to know the Germans and you have to meet them halfway and you have to be willing to say, okay, what's different here, I can accept that but I can also bring my unique touch. You can't give up. You've got, you've got to work very, very hard. You've got, to, um, you've, got to, you've got to be aware that there is probably more bureaucracy here than there would be at home. So you've got to deal with that because that's something that you're going to, if you set up a company, you're going to get hit with that every day of the week. Um, but you've got to have the motivation to say, well, I'm not going to give up. The first time a hurdle is put in front of me, um, I'm going to either get around that or get over it. Okay, so you mentioned the Oktoberfest. I take it you don't come to work uh, no, this way every no, day. No, thanks be to God. But I am required once a year because we have our annual outing today where the students, we go over to the Augustiner tent. So I am required to dress up like this once a year, which is great. I mean, it's great. The Oktoberfest is one of the most fantastic, um, you know, things that happen in Munich. Um, and it's, yeah, I think for Irish people, it's a really special event um, that happens here. Okay, well, uh, Susan, thank you very much for taking the time to speak no with us. Yep, that's um, great. Best of luck in the coming years with uh, the development of the college. Mm -hmm.